it's kind of a controversial issue. You see, behind me, you'll see the Temple of Solomon, which is owned by Universal Church. Okay, then you see, now I turn around, at the back you have Catholic Church. And then on the other side, you see that building there, it's another headquarters of the Assemblies of God. So actually, we missed another temple, the one I was yesterday, where I spent my New Year, the first of January which is Pentecostal Church God is Love. So these are the most powerful churches in Brazil. Okay, it's like they compete each other. Okay, you have uh, Assemblies of God, Catholic Church, which takes over around, I would say, 50% of Brazilian Christianity. And then you have Universal Church, which is everywhere in Brazil. It's like KFC in South Africa. Every corner you find a KFC. Then you have Assemblies of God, which is a mother-founding Pentecostal church, actually that emerged here in Brazil, that entered through American pastors many years ago. It's a historical thing. So you have three of the biggest, four of the biggest controversial churches that compete each other here in Brazil. You know, uh, actually there's another study that actually I want to make, you know, uh, we, we analyze we, an, we analyze that the gospel I would say about 50 years ago 50 years ago it was more preached by Americans okay Americans were conquering the world and spreading the word of God and preaching the gospel through all the nations and you know doing what is commanded in the Bible but apparently you know the American gospel went a little bit down because they became a little bit greedy money became an issue is an issue to most pastors in the United States of America. Now, actually, I find that Brazil is one of the countries that is really conquering the world in spreading the gospel more than Americans, more than you can think Americans. If you think that Americans are conquering the world in the gospel, no, you're wrong. Brazilians are. You know, Brazil sends more missionaries than any other country out there in the world. And I'm one of them, and I know it for sure, and I can attest to you. So this is actually another study that I will make on my channel then I will share with each one of you and to explain to you where did the American gospel go and why is Brazilian gospel rising up so much okay and uh, we will come to that a little bit later in uh, my channel.